Hey there booktube, welcome back. Um, yeah, another video. I'm going to do the booktube newbie tag today. Um, I'll just do a bit of housekeeping first. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'll get this up on Tuesday for Tag Tuesday. Uh, but I am away from home at the moment. I'm not sure what the internet's like here. So if it doesn't work out, it might end up being a Tag Thursday video. But we'll see. Um, it might be alright. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd jump straight in. Uh, just another way for you to get to know me. Um, and yeah, I'll jump right in. Question one is, uh, why did you start this channel? Um, and first answer I have is fairly obvious, to talk about books. Um, I love reading and um, although I do have a fair few friends who do like to read too, um, I think particularly with, with Covid I have had uh, I've had less of a chance to meet up with them and, and talk and I think when it comes to stuff like this I do quite like talking in person. Uh, I find it easier to uh, get my thoughts out when I talk. Um, so I thought, um, yeah, it's a good way to do it. Um, and also, um, my wife works shifts, and uh, um, yeah, with with COVID and everything, I've been at home more. I've uh, been reading more, just spending more time by myself. Um, and so it would be quite nice for her, really, if um, <laughs> when she gets home from work and when she's tired, that I'm not just <laughs> with all the books I'm reading. So um, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's, that's another reason. Um, number two, uh, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Uh, hopefully, um, an eclectic range of uh, books to be talked about. Um, I like reading all sorts, um, so, and I've got, yeah, all kinds of weird things on my shelves. Uh, so even if it's just doing a library tour or something, there'll be some really random things in there. Um, yeah, I also want to talk about uh, poetry, because I'm, re I'm really into my poetry. Um, and there are a fair few booktubers who are into their poetry too. Um, and I think there's a lot of effort being made to, <laughs> to talk, talk about poetry more. Um, and so hopefully I can add to that uh, discussion. Um, and also I have two pet rabbits, so maybe there'll be the occasional bit of rabbit content. Who knows? Uh, next up... What are you most excited for about this channel? Uh, I think for me it's mainly comments. Um, yeah, I think um, even if I wasn't making videos, um, I, I find like commenting on peop other people's videos um, just really great. It's really fun. Um, and yeah, I mean it kind of it, it makes my day when I get to even if it's just a little, you know, little message or something in, in the comments, a uh, little discussion, um, I, th I think that's great. Um, and so yeah, just to carry on that with my own channel and keep on commenting on other people's channels, uh, really that's what I'm still really excited about. Um, and the next question is, why do you uh, love reading? Um, yeah, which is a hard question I think, in a way, because um, the, is it the moody, uh, the moody reader tag? And there's a question, it has like three answers, and it's like, which one? And when I saw some people's reactions to the tag, I, I wasn't sure what I'd say if I was doing that tag. Um, uh, I think two of them were learning and thinking critically. Um, and i probably, yeah, say I was a combination of those two for why I read. Um, but also I think a large part of it for me is, is empathy. Uh, you know, c connecting with other people, understanding other people, um, even if they're different, um, you know, if they have a different background or different opinions or, or whatever, um, any of that, um, yeah, I think that's one of the great things about reading. Um, and also conversation as well, a conversation like this with other people who read, uh, but also reading as a kind of conversation between you and the, um, the author, um, which I think is really cool. Um, okay, question number five. What book or book series got you into reading? Um, and I have, I have three answers for this, um, and I'll, I'll try and explain it as I go along. Um, because my first answer is it's a bit of a double-edged sword, but is the technical answer, really. Um, so the, the, fir the first book that really got me into reading was um, 
the Lord of the Rings books by uh, Tolkien. And um, yeah, I mean, even before I read the book, I was probably obsessed um, because my parents have been reading them for years. And um, I watched the, the 70s cartoon, if anyone remembers that, as a kid. And then when the Peter Jackson movies came out, I watched those. Um, yeah, so I was, I was just totally obsessed. When I was 10, I think it was, um, I, I read them. I think my dad got me The Hobbit maybe a year or two before. Um, and I can remember just trying to, trying to get through The Hobbit um, as quickly as I could um, as a kid, <laughs> so I could read Lord of the Rings. Um, but yeah, Lord of the Rings were the, yeah, they were the big ones. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword because then once I finished it and I, and I loved them, uh, the, those books, um, it kind of put me off reading <laughs> after I finished them. Not you know, not because of any negative experience with the books, as I said, but I think because um, I don't know, it might have just turned me into a bit of a snob for a while as, as I was a kid, or, or something like that. Maybe um, I think I found. The way, like lots of writers uh, with books that are only marketed for kids and young people and into young adult stuff, I think I just found that the way they wrote a bit condescending. Uh, you know, uh, I think having to stretch myself to read Lord of the Rings a bit, um, or at least that's what I told myself um, around the time. But I think really maybe part of it, as I've been thinking about it, was. Um, I came to Lord of the Rings already really invested in the books and I tried to read other books and I didn't really care if I read it or left it really um, I didn't have the patience um, for my investment in, you know, uh, my investment into the characters or into uh, uh, the plot or the aesthetics of the book or the ideas in the book so I didn't let those that kind of investment grow um, as, as I went on um, I just kind of read the first chapter and just be like, oh, that's boring, and put it down. Uh, so it took me a while, uh, but the book that got me back into reading after that, um, which has a kind of connection to Lord of the Rings, because uh, both were adapted to screen by Peter Jackson, um, it's the Mortal Engines books by Philip Reeve, I believe. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't have any prompts because I'm away from home. Um, but yeah, I think there are four books in that series. Um, and I, I read them when I was about 16, um, and there were other books that I read for school that I really enjoyed and read over and over and over. Um, but these were some of the first books for a while that were, you know, like novels that I actually wanted to read, um, and really enjoyed reading them. And for the, I don't know, month or two I spent with the series, I was just totally invested in the whole of it, and yeah, just kind of really got me back into reading and it was like the summer before I started my A-levels and then I, I did English for my A-levels and then my, you know, the amount of, as I was reading kind of started increasing then um, and so that kind of yeah got me back into it. Uh, then my third answer um, is kind of the first book that kind of I suppose is more my general taste now um, and helped me see what I liked, because um, that was also part of my problem I think with reading, because I just didn't know what I liked. Um, and so my third answer is Birthday Letters by Ted Hughes, um, and yeah, I just thought that was a great poetry collection. It's, re it's, it's really thick, but yeah, I read that for my A levels, I was, I don't know, 17, 18, and, and yeah, it was just great, and it just kind of opened my eyes to I suppose um, more contemporary, more modern poetry. Um, I would never have found Sylvia Plath, who's one of my favourite writers, um, if I hadn't have found Ted Hughes, um, who's also become one of my favourite writers as well. Um, so yeah, they'd be the they'd be my answers for question five. Sorry, that's a bit long winded. Um, but yeah, two more questions. Um, so number six, what question would you ask your favourite booktuber? Um, hmm. I can't really decide who my favourite booktuber is, <laughs> that's, that's my first problem with the question. Um, maybe at the moment it would be a joint between um, Jason from uh, Old Blues Chapter and Verse and his wife Kelly at books I'm not reading. 
I think they're both lovely uh, people, great channels. Um, like both of their reading tastes, um, I really enjoy their videos. Um, but really, any booktuber I, I watch, I'd, I'd probably the question I'd be most interested in asking would be just how they balance making videos with reading and life. Um, yeah, just be just be curious, really. Um, um, yeah, and I guess um, I don't know. Maybe I'll be asking myself that question in the future, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, last then is um, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Um, I think, for me, it's probably getting used to the camera and not being embarrassed to be myself um, uh, on YouTube, probably. Um, I'm not sure if, if that's a problem for, for other people, but... Um, yeah, I, th I think that's um, at least the first hurdle um, for, for me. Um, but yeah, there we have it. That's the that's the booktube newbie tag. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all on um, on Friday. I'll uh, do some Friday reads. Um, before I go, I'm gonna tag two channels. Um, <laughs> my apologies if uh, you've already done it. But I'm gonna tag Kim from. Uh, Kim's Book Life and Kaylin, uh, Kaylin Mary Dunn. Um, I don't believe either of them have done the booktube newbie tag, uh, so if you haven't, consider yourself tagged. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you soon.